Hey everyone, I'm Mindez here and welcome back to another episode of Professor Leighton and the Philosopher's Future. In the last episode, we got up to this part, I guess. Uh, I can't remember which way we came. We came, I guess, from this way? Yeah, the alley. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it's been a while since I've recorded. Yay! So now we're going to try and get um, over the bridge over here. Let us pass! Why won't you let us pass? Can I just walk around him? I guess not. He doesn't even have a puzzle for us. What the heck? Good day, you two. Isn't the view here positively glorious? It's quite nice. No, it's positively glorious. Idiot. Do you suppose you could be part of the family? Well, he does have a moustache, you know. It's a requirement of the family that you must have a moustache. And a hat. You need a hat. Look at this suit. Do you see the stitch work? This was custom made in Italy. Italy, I say. Um, okay. As long as you acknowledge your mistake. Blah, 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 bygones, be bygones, be bygones, be bygones. Uh, London's most distinguished, dashing and debonair man. Graham. That's a really, like... It's a really unimpressive name for uh, the, the most debonair and dashing man in the London, but okay. Um, remember the name, but I know you'll never forget it. What was his name again? I can't remember. London's most distinguished, dashing, and whatever the last part was. Okay. <laughs> so now we can just walk past him. Why couldn't we just walk round him before? That doesn't make sense. Alright. Whatever. Apparently, Leighton and Luke have not mastered the art of walking around people yet, but anyway. Uh, so the hint points here, there's one in the middle of the bridge, there's one in the sewage port on the left side of the river, which is there, and the one on the rock. Uh, I guess you're going to give us a puzzle? Yeah, figures. You can't have two screens without a puzzle. Hello there, do you know if the way, this is the way to Chinatown? This path will take you right there, probably. Hmm. I've just got the feeling that something could happen to me while there. Something bad. Dun dun dun! I'm better off just staying here and solving puzzles. So you're going to give us one? Okay. Hide and goon seek. Do you get it? Hide and goon seek. Like, like it's, it's supposed to be hide and go seek. But isn't it? I've got a feeling the family's goons might be lurking around here. I didn't want any trouble, so I've hidden in a spot where I can spy on them without being seen. Do me a favour and tell me how many goons the... Oh. Huh. That's neat. Yeah. Peekaboo. 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 <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me. Uh, okay, we've got one up there. Oh dear. Two. Uh, this is basic observation 101. I can't do it. Is there one in the safe? Is there one in the safe? No. Three. I'm worried one of them's going to peekaboo at me. Four. He. Is he. No. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, 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 oh. Peekaboo! Five. <laughs> <laughs> six. That's a six, isn't it? Yeah, six. Seven. Um. Eight. Nine. Is that it? Wait, can I put memos out? Oh, they do stay there. Oh, I, I could have just used memos, but I think there's nine, so I'm just going to enter nine. Uh, again, it's asking for a two-digit number. It always seems to ask for a digit more than it needs. I've noticed that. Hmm. Assuming nine's this? right. Yay! That was fun. <laughs> Peekaboo and all no that. Yeah, that was great. Leighton's apprentice. Ah, correct. There are nine group goons creeping about. Hide and goon seek. You get it, because goon, goon. Oh, we got a man sticker, and it appears to be Don Paolo from okay, from the first game and from uh, the movie. Hey, you've solved my puzzle. Guess you're not part of the family then. That makes no sense. We're no family goons, I'm Luke, and this man here is the famous Professor Layton. We are part of the family! <laughs> Somebody help me. He's gonna jump in the river, isn't he? Aww. People seem to think I'm, I'm a criminal. On a more interesting note, do take a look at the ground, Luke. Dun, dun, dun! He's got wet feet. He's got wet feet, he's next to a river. What could this mean? Come to think of it, his feet and pants were all wet, but why? It's a bit chilly to be out for a swim, don't you think? It's never too chilly to be out for a swim. Oh, we got another mystery. The last mystery of the game. Men in white laboratory co co coats seem to be all over this part of town, but the odd thing is that their trousers and shoes are always soaking wet. Why on earth would they be walking around London with wet feet? And I didn't actually notice they were all in white laboratory coats. I guess, um... Laboratory, laboratory, I don't know. Who knows? Who, who knows? I certainly don't care. Alright, so he's run off. You know, Professor, with all the trees here, this hill is actually kind of... Creepy. What's the matter, Luke? Are you afraid of bumping into a ghost? A ghost! You, you, uh, um, stutter. 
unscientific. There's no proof ghosts exist. Nothing based on fact. Maybe just a little, okay. So we got a hint coin at the bottom of the path somewhere. Um, that's a bit of a vague clue for a hint coin, really. Bottom of the path. What does it mean like... Oh, there, okay. <laughs> Moss covered branch on left, that would be that one, and top brick of the old well. That would be that one. I think I feel like a hidden puzzle! Hidden puzzle! Number 147. Ice bag with my little eye, a hidden puzzle. Paving the garden. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's one of the. Okay. That, that's first. I thought it was a Tangram for a minute. I was getting a bit worried. So uh, we're looking for. Uh, we want to lay one of the five types of paving stones below around your garden without any overlapping each other. Can't rotate the, you can rotate them, but they can't be flipped. So, let's try A. If we assume A, then that's going to be like that, that's going to be like that, that's going to be like that, that's going to be like that. Oh no! Fail! Assume it's B. Is that three long? I guess that's three long, so it would be that, uh, that. Oh no, we can't put anything there, we fail. If it was C, it would have to be that, that, that. Oh no, as we can't put anything there. What do you know? That this seems um really for a hidden puzzle simple. It can't be D either, it's gotta be E. Yeah, it's E. That that's for a, for a hidden puzzle, that is way too simple. This one's as good as solved. Yeah well. Whatever, I'm not complaining. Free picker rats for all. Free picker rats for all. Stone E is the only one that will work. Why is my thing dropping frames? I don't know. Puzzle 147, paving the garden. I knew I could do it. I knew you could do it, Luke, as well. Alright, let's just carry on. Is it this way, or is that where we came from? That's where we came from. It didn't exactly make that very clear, I don't know. So let's continue down the path. Uh, oh, look, it's a sunflower. Hey there, little. Hey there, Mr. Sunflower, how are you doing? I can't stop looking at this curious flower and strange little insects zipping around it. I guess we're not missing any puzzles. I guess we're not missing any puzzles. That's great. Um, any hint coins here? We've got a safe. Weren't there a load of goons here? Weren't there like nine goons here? I remember that safe being there, and I remember some guy going peekaboo up there somewhere. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I um, weren't there a load of goons there? I'm pretty sure there were a load of goons there. Um, it's a pile of junk, all right, but is it all worthless? It is all worthless. Oh my god, it's the tower from the Curious Village. Yeah. What do you want? Go on then, I'll talk to you. Hey there, you two, you got a lost look about you. That's because we're in the lost future! Uh, reference to the game's name there. I say it's on Wayne Future in the American version, but it's lost future in the English version, so I don't care. I could be wrong, but it looks like you two are a couple of upstanding citizens. I'm a nice fella, so I'll clue, clue you in. You're standing right on top of a black market bazaar. The black market. We sell a lot of weird stuff, no questions where it comes from. Keep your head down. The moose. Why do people come all the way out here to do shopping? Uh, blah blah blah. Things, yeah, they're selling bombs, they're selling uh, drugs, they're selling, you know, things like that. I think we've asked enough questions for one day. Can we just move on? We don't really want anything in the market, so... Especially the black market. So, um, yeah. Hey there, there's a cat there. The cat has a puzzle for us. Hello there, Mr. Cat. How's it going? Meow, 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 meow. What's he saying? He says he's in a bit of a jam. Yes, Luke can talk to animals, apparently. That is his superpower. Cat romance. This tomcat is trying to meet up with his sweetheart. However, the dogs on the squares with X's can smell a cat up to three squares away and chase him off. They can't, however, smell a cat through a wall. Which entrance should the tomcat take to be reunited with his lady friend? Where are the dogs? Oh, an X is a dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Where do we have to get to? Oh, we have to get to there. Okay, so let's... As as all mazes, start from the end. That's the one tip for all mazes. Start from the end and then uh, we'll kind of... So obviously we don't want to go that way. We don't want to go right now because derp, we walk straight into a dog. So let's just keep walking. Keep walking and... Uh, 
If we go on the square below, then we will be spotted by a dog. Actually, yeah, whatever. So we're going to have to go to the right there. If we go up, we'll walk right into a dog. If we go right, we'll walk right into a dog. So let's go down there. Um, I guess the answer is C. Just a... Oh, it could be D, couldn't it? Up to three squares away and chase him off. So, is that square there that I'm tapping on now, would that be smelled by a dog? Doesn't say it has to be in a straight line, so I'm guessing the answer is going to be C. I don't. I didn't see any um, any failures Here's in that. my there. answer. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That was okay. Phew, that was very, very. Really? That was very okay. That was okay. That was, it was okay. Perfect. Get it? Because it's perfect. And it's a cat. Oh man, the puns in this game. I'm sad telling you. It's awesome. And his name's Catanova. Glad to be of service. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just uh, carry on. I guess. All right, so I'm guessing those are family goons and we don't want to talk to them. So let's go for the hint coins. Broken thing to the right of the door on the left. That'll be that thing. The door on the landing above the grate. The gate? Grate? Gate? There. And the tower in the right corner. Oh, I've already seen that. Broken thing to the right of the door on the left. That'll be that. Okay, fair enough. Um, should we have a hidden puzzle? I think we've got time for a hidden puzzle. Let's just keep tapping that door. Oh, look, a hidden puzzle. That's all I have to say about hidden puzzles. There's no... They're just totally breaking the fourth wall there. Oh look, it's a hidden puzzle! The green frame and six orange blocks... No. Oh. You're kidding. You are kidding. Oh, Alright. You are kidding, but okay. They can be flipped and rotated in any direction. Oh no. No, no, no. Alright, well let's assume... That's that one. Uh, how would how else we fit? Oh, jeez. They can be flipped and rotated in any direction. So what if it was that, which would be that, and it was that, which would be that, and I'm totally going to fail this. Then it was that, which would be that, and then I would fail because we have that square in the middle that's not doing well. Okay, tell you what, let's do this the uh, more logical way. How many squares do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, oh my god, I can count. 22 in total, so we need 22. This is 4, this is 3, this is also 4. This is two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing is these all have to add up to give an even number. So that one and that one have to be used. Um, so we're on a total of eight at the moment, just using those two. So we need uh, 14. Which means that's the one that's not used? That must be the one that's not used. Because these all add up to 24, so okay, fair enough. <laughs> Do it the logical way! Let's yeah! See if I've got this right. Okay, Just yeah, that, that one had a trick behind it. A little trick behind it, not quite the usual tr usual tangram there. There we go. Nothing like a bit of exercise for the brain. Ah, uh, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Um, I'm guessing this is going to be some kind of event now that we're at Chinatown, so I'm going to not talk to those guys and just end the episode here. Okay, so, next episode, do we actually have anything... Yeah, we've got a minute, let's have a look if there's anything we can do in the picture book. Because we have a couple more stickers now. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, one day the manager in charge, let's just put him in charge. The man in charge stepped out, leaving me to run the shop. Before stepping out the door, the man said to me, I'm relying on you today, I'll be back as soon as I can. After the man left, I noticed a white thing had been left on the counter. Oh, it must be his raincoat. Oh, the man must have forgotten this. And come to think of it, I don't even know where the man went. Oh. A little while later, a customer arrived. Oh, we don't have a customer. The rain's terrible, I'll have a cocoa. A really hot one. Oh, okay. Nothing we can put there. Uh, another hot drink. But don't steep it for too long. Uh, we have a cocoa and a coffee. I'm not sure which one of those you could steep. That'd be tea, wouldn't it? I don't know. Customer took a seat in the corner table if we don't have a customer. 
Since the main charge was gone, I had to make a cocoa for the customer by the window. Uh, the white thing was gone. The raincoat? Isn't that supposed to be the raincoat again? We need another customer. Okay, mushroom found in the forest. I'll have a mushroom, please. No, I'll have a mushroom. the mushroom leaned over. No, look at this mushroom. Uh, um, okay, um, I'm, I'm. We need a lot of hot drinks, a lot of people. Okay, screw this. I'm finished. See you next time, folks.